Um, man. And you aren't on Wi-Fi, and you aren't no, on Wi-Fi, so we're good. So I literally have a Wi-Fi extender, Mike like, hanging from my screen. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It works pretty good. Oh, it works great. I guess hey, YouTube. Yeah, kind of far. All right. 20 minutes to go. We'll get levels. I should have got levels before, but oh well. I think we're good, actually. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. Ha, ba, 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 ba. Pop into the YouTube. The comment sections. All right. Man, this is painful. With the waiting? It's well, yeah, but it's 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 like a good, it's a good feel. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's great. I'd love to have a time machine. Oh, is just Kyle to yet? Get to the end. Kyle Where'd Kyle go? Out. Okay. Well, he'll <laughs> knock. So, Steve, you can uh, Steve, you can handle the garage when he knocks. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Um, should we start? Sure. All right. Let's do it. And for everyone else, you don't need to change anything you're doing. You're all good. <clears throat> it's a party. <laughs> It is the 200 level episode 407 live from the garage on a Thursday evening, March 28th, 2024, as Illinois has a 10 point lead at halftime against Iowa State. Isaac Ambrose is back in the garage after an absence for the Duquesne game. It still worked out okay, Isaac. Yeah, that, that was a, I would say that game went as good as it could have for me not to be here, right? If it would have been like a BYU game buzzer beater, I would have been like, oh man, I wish I was here. But that was probably the, most anticlimactic win to go to the Sweet 16 you could have. And it was kind of nice because it was yeah. a two-hour celebration. Right, so far through one hour, can't say it's a celebration because you know Iowa State's a much better caliber team, mm. but a promising start for Illinois. They're up 10 despite missing a lot of free throws. The defensive intensity has been really good. We have Ken, Ken Elmore on third mic as well. Hello. Man Man correct? I'm trying. I'm okay. going to get to you. i got to reset my phone here. Okay, cool. So we'll have uh, him the comments and hello to everybody out there on YouTube watching this game on a late Thursday evening. No work for me tomorrow. What's your no? I'm I'm off too. All right, well, thankfully, then, uh, yeah. Lucky dog. Yeah. Let's get after it. So as we get underway here in just about a couple minutes, uh, might as well hit the sponsors before we get to that. DP Doe online at dpdoe.com for all the best deals and prices. dpdoe.com. Hopefully, you can get a piping hot celebratory calzone after the game tonight, and they deliver late. It's dpdo.com. Also, Dogtown Heating, Air, and Plumbing, your home's best friend, at 217-841-4728. Schedule your next AC check as the weather gets warmer. You want to get that done at 217-841-4728. Dogtown Heating, Air, and Plumbing, your home's best friend. Also, State Farm Agent Brian Hansen, online at brianismyguy.com. Brian is my guy. And he's my guy. You see, we planned that, but it, he actually is, correct? Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> and he is someone that you can trust. When it Isaac comes, likes it. <laughs> when it comes to insurance, well, it's Trevor's favorite domain name. Yeah. It's Ken's insurance guy. Have you signed up with Brian yet? Uh, I haven't, no. What are you waiting for? I, I don't know. I don't know. Get with the program. Unbelievable. <laughs> Brian is my guy.com. And finally, Owen Builders LLC. Online at owenbuildersllc.com. Home additions, patios, decks, and other projects. Get a free quote online from owenbuildersllc.com. So... As we are about to settle in for the second half, I'm sure there will be some nerves. I'm sure there will be some tense moments. Iowa State's probably not going to go anywhere, Isaac. But what would you like to see in these first four minutes to maybe ease concerns of – a collapse is too strong of a word, but mm -hmm. maybe a, a subpar second half? I think the continued amazing defense. I know Iowa State's missed a handful of open looks. They've also made a handful of open looks. But your defensive intensity has just been – the best it's been in a long time. I mean, it's noticeable. It's not necessarily one of those things that you can objectively point out. It's more so just an eye test thing, right? Like, like going over screens, not not dro not drooping off of guys. Um, that's that's been really noticeable. So I would say the defensive intensity needs to stay up, and then. I'm assuming Iowa State's going to adjust something or probably throw something crazy at you here in the second half. I know that they they ran that zone for a hot second. So I think just being able to continue to adjust. I know Damas, the booty ball, hasn't really been there tonight at, like like it normally has. He still played well, but um, the, the down low booty ball hasn't been there as much. So they're going to throw something crazy at you. Just be ready for it, I think. Probably so. I, I think I like how Damas is playing within himself and yes. not forcing anything. Yeah. And he was the, I, I don't want to say concern, but he was the one that I felt if he has a good game, you're going to be fine. Because he can get 
turned over yes. when there's a little bit of pressure. But so far, he responded, well, my favorite play was when he was trapped in the corner. He fed yeah. Coleman, and then Coleman fed Terrence, Terrence for the and one? Yep, yes, correct. Yep. Right. So that was a great play, and one that shows that you can exploit their aggressiveness. So we're going to get underway here soon. Uh, Kenton, anything in the YouTube feed worth... I have Hitting just up? gotten in here after some technical difficulties. I'm uh, catching up. People, they're already partying in there. Okay, and it uh, looks we like... we got to knock at the garage oh, door. Oh, knock at the garage the door. Our partiers are, are back. Uh, Bobo will be up at 4.30 a.m. for work. Oh, man. Good for him. Ouch. You guys are off. Bobo, I'm with you. I'm working tomorrow, too. Obviously not that early. But uh, ILL Ema is right there with Bobo. Also 4.30 a.m. wake up. We got some people that are really, really uh, dedicated as they should be to this game tonight. Yeah, we got a good, good crew there on YouTube. We appreciate it, and we got quite the peanut gallery in here—a bigger crowd than we even had for the Duquesne game on a much warmer March evening. So yeah, we're like, settling in. Yeah. It's nice and toasty in here. It is. We're 67 nice degrees where we were probably 37 degrees last Saturday. <laughs> it was easy for us because we're right under the heaters, but not for our friends. So. We got a good spot. We are about to settle in. It feels like this is the longest yeah. halftime ever. Yeah. Good God. Is it more than 20 minutes? I don't, we, we at least started somewhat on time. I think it was 9.14 instead of 9.10. So. What's the halftime show? Okay. Well, <laughs> whenever we do get back to it, first four minutes, always crucial, Isaac. I, my 100%. thought is just maintain the lead. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sure we're going to be, especially with Iowa State, who's a team that's going to just be persistent, wear you down. They kept talking about that a lot in the first half. I think... Winning the first four minutes by a point, you know, winning the, the next four minutes, getting to those TV timeouts, like winning those four minute sections is going to be so crucial. I think, especially against a team like Iowa State, because Iowa State is a team as well that they they're not total they're not totally built to come back from huge deficits, right? They just they slow teams down, they play amazing defense, and when they're shooting the ball really well, then then they're pretty unstoppable. So hopefully they. They are not hitting threes tonight, the rest of the night. That would be nice because that Jones had two of them. Yeah, he had, you know, 11 like, other points. Yeah, right away. Yeah, so two fouls on him. Foul trouble could become a concern for Iowa State. The one thing that concerned me was Terrence getting his second late in the first half. Yeah, it was a lot of ticky-tack there late in the, in the first Which half. I feel like you can exploit if it's called the same way in the second. If you make your free throws, yeah. If you make your free throws. I got to say, the fact that you're up 10 after missing that many yeah. free throws, I... I would say, <laughs> to say it bodes well might be silly because you left a lot of points on the board there, but I just feel like you will not regress, but progress right. to the mean and I start making them. I think when you look at who misses them, too, it's it's big because now Terrence, I think, missed three or four. He definitely should have made, but obviously Dane missed two, Ty missed two, Quincy was like two for four or something, of course, mm -hmm. so... Uh, the people who were missing him wasn't necessarily a surprise, but the Terrence missing was definitely a surprise. Okay, you're up 10 points at halftime despite shooting 41%, which is 15% worse than you were shooting in the first eight, shooting a paltry 29%. But as we mentioned earlier, it's, it's more encouraging that Illinois is forcing contested looks. It's not necessarily Iowa State just ice cold. Right, and I think there, especially late in the second half, you were missing a lot of open threes and open looks. You were doing a great job of moving the ball. You were just missing. Um, I think you started off... You started off what five for eight or five for nine from three, and then on now you're you're five for fifteen. So and you um, still maintain that lead. Yeah, you you were able to to just make some plays, and Coleman Coleman made a nice a few nice plays late. I like knock on wood. I really like Coleman's composure. He play he's playing really smart, and Agreed. even that call that should have been a charge on him. He normally I feel like would have freaked out, but um, we're back underway here. Wow, yeah. second half. So Illinois up ten. Here's Iowa State on the first possession. They have the possession arrow. And we have the starting lineup back in there for Illinois. Oh, a little screen oh, action there. Up and good. And that's going to be a potential for a three-point play. So Iowa State with a good play. Uh, well, that was yeah. by far the most space we've given any Iowa State player all night. Way too easy. And Coleman, like if you're like, he didn't, Coleman didn't even stick his hands up. No, it, it just, yeah, we foul. <laughs> a little timid coming out of halftime. That's peculiar. Well, <laughs> game's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun, guys. 36-28, the free throw is up and no good. So It's that rim, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out because Iowa State made a bunch of their free throws. Yeah. If it is a case of the rim, then you should have no problem shooting even better on this half. So Marcus Damascus gets the pick here from Ty. A little bit of a trap, but not quite. Didn't commit there. Terrence Shannon on the right side of the perimeter with 19.30 to go. Drive it in. And he will get fouled on, on the, the floor. All right, we'll take it. That is, that's one thing you can tell. Terrence did this. I'm trying to remember. It might have been the Big Ten tournament, or maybe it was the first half. It was the first half against Moorhead State. 
he was really settling from three. And I know it's hard to tell a guy like that to, to not settle, right? Because he, he's he been so great. I mean, he's shooting like over 40% recently from three. But well, you just love... the beginning of the game, too. Yeah, you'd, right, exactly. So you'd, you'd love to just see him get in there and continue to get fouls on Iowa State. Another foul for their big. I think that might be fourth. But, you know, what I do think Illinois can do here is kind of bully their way to victory. And that starts with Terrence attacking the rim. So we have Coleman over to Quincy. Doing some passing Go on the Terrence. perimeter. Terrence going in. Kicks it over nice to Marcus. Dish. The nice three. Dish. No good. Good, Quincy. Quincy taps it. We're going to have another opportunity for a three. No, Terrence driving it in. No good. And no foul. Oh, wow. Eight-point lead for Iowa State here and a chance on the drive. And, then you and it's up and go. good. And then, well, I don't know what Coleman's waiting for what, what were both of them doing? Six-point lead for Illinois and a good start for Iowa State in the first minute. So 18.50 to go. That's Gilbert, who has five points so far. Man. Here's Damask. Illinois needs to get a bucket here to kind of stem the tide a bit. Marcus, alone on an island. He's going to do some booty ball here, so we'll see what opens up. They were trying to trap. Nothing yet. And a foul on okay. an old block. Right. So he got in his personal space. That's going to be the second foul on Iowa State this half. Now, is this the Courtney Green guy? The I don't think Courtney Green's officiate. I don't think I th a Big Ten official could officiate. I'm pretty sure he is. That's oh, Ooh, that's a that's an elbow Please, to the face. Don't look at that. Don't he look at that. Don't look at that. Too, but I mean, he he touched him. Didn't well, the problem he? is if if you get in the person, if you get in the player's circle, I think that's part of the new rules that offenses get a lot more advantages. You can shake them off like that. Yeah, like if you're in that circle. Yeah. And they couldn't Illinois call that. Illinois oh, Illinois. I don't yeah. know. That angle shows him, yeah. there was a brush. So they're looking at it, or yeah. Okay, well they're gonna look at it. Dear God, that's a little scary. Yeah, we don't want them to look at that one. Yep, uh, ten straight miss. Ten, ten straight misses. misses. I mean, okay, that's gotta, that's gotta be going. Maybe back we should to see if half. is it a flagrant? Does anybody up there have it? I mean, it's okay. So old Gene Steratoy thinks it's a common foul. Yeah, I mean, I a common foul on. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't right. change it. I, right. I, okay. That's what I'm hearing, right? It does look like Courtney Green. I don't know if it is, though. Oh, we got to get another guy to come in and look at it. <laughs> we'll be here until 1130 tonight. That's okay. Ugh. Man. Uh, weird start to the half. Super Isaac. weird. Um, I think the, the most concerning thing for me is that you got – Iowa State's defense is amazing, but like the yeah, you've missed ten in a row. It doesn't feel like it's just this hounding defense, right? Like it is. Like I know their defense is great, but we're we're missing a lot of shots, I, especially the threes. Yeah, where you started out oh well. My goodness, and that's why they probably thought, okay, yeah, we spotted them a big making their threes, but eventually teams will regress. They aren't going to be yeah. hitting yeah. you know sixty percent all game. And I haven't watched a lot of Iowa State this year, but I feel like that. They've probably beat a lot of teams that feel that same way, right? Especially right. us. We, number one offense in Ken Palm now. You get that feeling. You're like, ah, you know that we can break through this, but that's what a tenacious D will do to you, right? Yeah, they make, they make you work for it. It'll, and that's... Make you, it'll make you feel like you're beating yourself. So it is a common foul. Illinois still has the ball. Man, we need a bucket. We do need a bucket in the worst way with 18.30 to go, 15 on the shot clock. Ty, over to Coleman, that's the not... long three. No good, and it's another miss for Illinois. But here's the thing, Isaac. Like, why? It, that sucks. But you were making, getting stops in the first half, and this yeah. would be three buckets in a row if Iowa State gets something here. This is going to be Lipsy up top to the center, who does not shoot from three. A drive to the lane. It's up and good. And it's a four point game, six nothing run for Iowa State. And the tables have turned pretty quickly here. Wow. Illinois needs a bucket. All right, here's Damask. You, you, I feel like you just need to get over this hump, and I think a couple buckets could do it, Isaac. This feels like this was the closest it was in the first half, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much, because you took a pretty early lead. Yeah, we came out Terrence early. driving. Coleman does not take the three. He's going to drive it himself. He's in the lane. Kicks, uh, kicks it out to Damask on the perimeter. The three is contested, but Terrence gets go, the board. Terrence. Not a foul. Okay, and good, in. Terrence. All right, that 38 to 32. Big bump, too. Wow. Big no call. Like you said, that knock on wood, I hope. Uh, this team has been great at absorbing punches this year. They um, have. They have. Oh, my Lipsy gosh. makes it. Wow. God dang. I mean, Iowa State's making four straight all possessions. Their tough shots. Four for four in this half. Four. Lipsy has eight, and he's heating up. So They are getting to the rim. That's what, four layups? 
in row. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what adjustment they necessarily made. I, I would yeah. assume they were trying that in the first half, and we were just keeping them from doing it. Coleman over to Terrence, passes up the three, takes a baseline. To Quincy, over to Coleman. Ah, Coleman didn't quick it out, kick it out quick enough. The three's good. Oh, <laughs> the three is good. Okay, that the, so I, badly man. needed. I was saying did something. I know, like that's a huge shot by Coleman, but they're just their ability to their ability to catch back up after. I mean, I Terrence know. threw that from underneath the I hoop. Know. Coleman, it's no joke. Okay, wow. we got a seven point lead again with sixteen forty five. So just get to this first media timeout yeah. without too much damage. Coleman with ten already tonight. Here is well, where's Lipsy at? He's still there. Yeah, just as Marcus ball. is on him, three on three. Yep. All right, Lipsy on the right side of the arc up top. I don't know all these guys' name for Iowa State. Are we running a zone? Uh, no, it's oh, man, maybe man. not. Never mind. Okay, good switching here on defense so far. The Miss. long three is up. It's good. Oh. He answers. Oh, is it two? A two, long two. Okay, well, that's a break. Holy cow, get to the timeout, please, God. Yeah, well, and get another bucket if you can. Or score two, yeah. They have not missed yet. If you can somehow get to the timeout, up seven or eight. Here's Ty in the baseline. You got to rotate it around. Damask. And it's a turnover. That's a Damascus turnover right there. The, the worst freaking, kind. You don't even get a freaking no, shot. No, the booty ball wasn't going to work there. The three is up. It's no good. Fortunate bounce for Illinois. That misses. How about Terrence just... Terrence, it's your, it your time. All the way to... Okay. And he just loses out of bounds. It's a five-point Illinois lead with 15.42 to go. Shaky start. They seem a little bit fluttered right now. I think I'm with Steve. Put Danger that in. That was a three. <sighs> that was a three. They're going to change it. Danger back in. That was a three? Yes. I'm telling you, that was All a three. Right. So it's a four-point Illinois lead. I Let's think it's it. going to be a four-point lead. God dang it. I just really don't I don't want this game to come down to, like, man, if you just would have made a few more free throws in the first half. Stretch the lead. Know, like, no. I mean, it's it's hindsight's 20-20, but... Man, being up what ten at half versus seventeen? Yeah, or I mean, okay, you were four for twelve, or, or you just you, you were six for fourteen after Coleman. You were you ended up seven for sixteen. I'm pretty sure, Jeez. or maybe it was yeah. Well, but. either way, if you make let's say four more, fourteen points is different than ten. Right. And but more concerning, I think, is just how you haven't stopped them once yet this half. No, yeah. Until that missed three, and they're offensively not that great. So, man. I'll poop on a stick. All right, DP Doe online at dpdoe.com. Also, stay from Agent Brian Hansen online at Brian's Mike Fuller's LLC.com and Dogtown Heating Air and Plumbing, 217 841 4728. I believe that was a th it's, a, it's 4137. 4137. According okay. to it was a three. So well, you, they've already outscored you by six this half. Yeah. 10 to six run. Yeah. Uh, no, 12. Uh, that. Yeah. Uh, I totally got that 12 to six. Yeah, 12 to six. Do we have six points? Uh, Terrence had a layup. Forty. It was. It was six. Thirty-six twenty-six. Yeah. So, so a Coleman, th a Coleman so three, five, Coleman so three. Yeah. Eleven to five run. Yeah. Uh, boy, we got blitz. I mean, I guess that's like, yeah, it, eleven to five doesn't sound that bad, but the way it's happened <laughs> was not good. Well, against a team that they shouldn't have that. Off no. The ease. Right. To score like that. So yeah, I, it's it's odd because it felt like they were just getting layup after layup right there in the first half. I, I feel like they had one or two maybe good looks at the rim. Yeah. Blake in the YouTube chat. Time for some second half sixteen minute TV timeout. Brad Magic. Yeah, well I would agree with you. If he has if he has something. I mean he had in the Big Ten tournament for most of those games. This this would be a good time for somebody like Dane to have like twelve points, but easy buckets. It doesn't doesn't need... feel like a Dane Dane's not the greatest passer. Well, but they're one of their bigs, and I, I forget which one, they have two of them. Yeah. One of them is at three or four fouls. Yeah. And I think it's you need easy buckets, and right now Marcus is ineffective with getting buckets. Oh my gosh, yeah. And Terrence is forcing it a little bit, losing it out of bounds like that. I got to be honest; I know Terrence has the points tonight, but I've not been wholly impressed. No, the the settling for threes, but again, he's he's been so good; it's hard to get mad about that. Yeah. The turnovers for sure. Um, Damask, unfortunately, has been uh, he's due for one or two of those bad turnovers per game, and I still think I saw I think I saw a tweet on the way over. You had five turnovers in the first half, which was like. The second least that um, Iowa State has forced in the first half this year, or something. So, yeah. 
Um, and how and many and this a half few so the, far? Two. Oh, geez, I mean, the two. thing has been more missed shots than anything. Right. And in the first half, a couple of your turnovers were not San Diego State. It You've was, had two. You had Marcus lose it, and then you had Terrence yeah. lose it out of bounds as well. See, so that's was. a three. It is a 41-37 to 37 game. Iowa State ball. Do we see any substitutions right off the bat? And it's just... <sighs> It's ins- it's just crazy how much the tides turn. Like there was a chunk of the first half where you looked like a one seed and they looked like a I know, ten seed. I know. Yeah, Goody's out there. Good, Good job D. by Coleman. Good Getting Coleman. Vertical. Go Terrence. Terrence on the break. Here's Goody. The three. Oh, no, does not take it. All right, all right. Yeah, he, it, hey, here's the thing. If you're a shooter like Luke and you don't feel it, yeah. I, in other words, he seems to be a rhythm guy. So I I'm okay with him passing that up. Coleman three. No good. Good, Terrence. Go. He gets fouled. No! A foul on Terrence? So that's three on Terrence? That's three on him. Uh, yeah. I think you got to play him, guys. Yeah, you got to keep him in. That's unbelievable. Are you serious? No. That's unbelievable. They both had a hand on the ball. I don't want this to be something that affects the outcome of the game. They're keeping him in. I think you have to. Uh, get go, 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 go. All the way, the baby. All the way. And the dunk, baby. Let's go. Yeah, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. 43 to 37. Sorry, YouTube. We probably distorted your speakers there, but that's going to happen. You Hopefully a bunch a in this half. You just need your role guys to step up. I know that's easier said than done. But. Sure, sure. All right, six-point lead again for Illinois. Terrence on defense. Man, that's smart to go at him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, Luke. Luke. Good, Luke. Luke gets the Ooh. steal. Illinois recovering a bit on defense. Two big stops in a row. Here's Damask. Gosh. Okay, good. I, was, I know. I thought they were going to call the offensive foul there. Here's Coleman trying to drive it. Wow. Kicks it over to Terrence. Over to Luke. Be there, Luke. Let's go, Luke. Oh! Yeah! Let's go! Oh! Get back, get back, get back! Nine-point lead for Illinois. 46 what to 37. 14, 10 to go. What a shot. Five-nothing run for Illinois after a rough start to the half. Here's Lipsy on the drive. Coleman Good deep. gets ah, darn it! They get the carom and they make Ooh. a second chance point. How did he? <laughs> but it's still a seven-point Illinois lead, and the defensive intensity has returned yeah. despite the second chance there for Iowa State. Here's Damascus getting oh, break trapped. Break it, break it, break it. Call timeout if you need to. Break it. Uh, here's Terrence. And That's goal and, and one. And one. Yeah, he got fouled. Oh, they aren't calling it a foul, but oh. it's a goaltend. It got. I don't think it did go in, but he goaltended Ooh. it. Man, wow! Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people questioning that foul on Terrence. A lot of people saying uh, this game's over if there's three on Terrence. The, it got dark there. You're keeping for a him minute. in. No, you're keeping it him got in there. Dark yeah, there for yeah. A yeah. And then you're just Underwood's got to work the refs and and just try to. Ah, uh, you got to keep him in. I mean, you just do. They might have taken him out here for the next minute forty-one. I mean, unless Terrence clear, you're not going to win this game without strong Damas, strong Coleman. Hundred so percent. You need you need some minutes with Terrence on the bench. Terrence does get a spell. Harmon in for defense here, and we got a foul on Damas. It'll be the third on Illinois. Just weird, weird fouls that's being called. The, this half. That's how the first half and. I'm not trying to bring the refs into this. Like, we missed the free throws, right? That's we not missed a, the free throws. That's not on yeah. them, but, like, it felt like the first 10 or 12 minutes, it was just oh. a good, tough nose basketball game. And then you just both sides started getting really ticky tack Weird pace. Okay, I like Danger in yeah. here. Yeah. Coming in for Quincy, the opportunity to get some hopefully easy buckets and some interior presence as well. So here's your lineup. Harmon, Danger, Damask, Goody, and Coleman. And if this was three weeks ago, you might freak out about that lineup. Let's go, Danger. Harmon works through the pick. Miss. The three is up and good for Iowa They're hitting shots now. I mean, what do they shoot from three? Uh, about 34%, I want to say. But Jones has 16 on They're three of five from three. Right. Of course he does. I don't even know what he's averaging this year. Six-point lead for Illinois. 13-11 to go. It got down to, I believe, a four-point Illinois lead. So they've stemmed the tide a bit. But every possession, of course, crucial in a game like this. Here's Damask looking for Luke, looking for Harmon, no the three. Good day. Gets the Danger. board. There you go. Ah! Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Dane gets the board and the putback. I don't. At this How is that not a foul on Iowa State? He was in the cylinder. I know. I know. And I'm, he just collapses. I feel like I'm bringing up negativity when there's positive vibes, but I don't know why Harmon is still playing he, he over should, well, DGL. 
Uh, yeah. Good D. Sorry. Oh, oh man. man. Almost got the steal. It's a polar environment. It's all good. And a foul, and Musa Masabakovic will go to the line. You know, they're only five for 11 I from didn't. three. It certainly does not feel that way. Yeah, but how I, is that not a foul? That's a foul. He's He flops inside the cylinder. Now, Dane would have missed the free throw anyway, but... True. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take the fouls. All right. So this guy so far has been quiet for Iowa State. He is a very talented player offensively. Yeah. Six eight. Milan Momstilovich at eleven point two points in the season. <gasps> Zero points tonight. Let's no go. good. Oh. All right. I'm right in. Like that's a little ahead of it. <laughs> Hopefully that sticks. Okay. Fifty to forty two still after he rims out the first one. Yeah. Oh man. How's YouTube doing, Ken? Are they having a good time? Uh, looks like it. Uh. Weird. And that's one's Coleman well. and Terrence both have three. Yeah. All right. Quincy looking to inbound it. He gets it into Marcus. Marcus has an opportunity for a break here. Okay. Dang gets fouled. Man, okay. Dane so was pretty much out of bounds. I thought was he was close. out of bounds. That was close. Is this a foul on Lipsy right here? Okay, so I, we need to see how many there are. 12.26 to go. Blake confirms we are having a good time. Awesome, Blake. Ben in the YouTube chat. Shout out to Melinda oh. <laughs> in the garage. We do have a special part guest of the crew right. back here. All right, here's We've Danger got quite at the, the line. Crew off camera. Hey, That's makes right. his first. Well, way to go, Dane. Never doubted. Never doubted, Dane. Yeah, good for Dane. I'm just really happy for him, and he's active right now. So I know that he's only got three points, but I think in the next few minutes yeah. he can keep doing things for you offensively and defensively in, in the interior. The second free throw is up. No good. All right, so it is a eight-point Illinois lead with twelve twenty to go. If you can get to the under twelve, only giving up a two-point, that would be something. Yeah. All right, here's Lipsy. The big is not going to shoot the three for Iowa State. Damask a little bit late around the pick. Working, working, no good. Get the board. No, he's out. He's out. out. He's out. Uh, no, out on Dane. Twelve oh eight to go, but twelve on the shot clock. Dane grabbed the ball. <laughs> Brad is a little ticked off right now. Man, you can't. It feels like every time they get second. Five. Right, here we go. Five. Five. Uh, here's Momsilovich with Quincy on him. Taking it into the lane. Great defense by Quincy. I'm sorry. That's awesome defense. Yeah. Even if that's he would have made that. Oh, come on. Come on. Even if he would have made that. So it's an eight-point Illinois lead with 11.50 to go. Damas brings it across. Momsilovich, one point tonight. You got to get some minutes with Terrence Being on the bench. That's Mom right. If you can steal these minutes with Terrence on the bench, this is a Marcus possession, it looks like. Look for Dane, who's chilling in the baseline. Dish it out. Dish it out. Foul. No good. Dane gets the board. And. Oh. We go to the under 12 timeout. 11.29 to go. Illinois Dane. back to an eight point Dane. lead. And Dane, that. Is that that might be his first field goal miss in the yes, tournament? Yes, I think it is his first Ooh, miss of the tournament. That's Man. something he never. He was uh, twenty-one right. for twenty-one until that miss, Jeez. or twenty for twenty. So, all right, we're at a break here. Dane Danger tonight is one for two. Like one for two. Man, that was right there too. He always oh my makes that. God. All right. So again, you made it to the you made it to the under twelve, and you only gave up two points. Essentially, yeah. All, all things considered, as as rough as that opening four minutes was, I think you have to feel like okay. First off, I feel like we're engaged again in a weird yeah, way. For the yeah, first two minutes, yeah. I didn't feel that way. I feel like defensively, um, you are in a much better spot. Yes, you're starting to make things tricky for them again. So red hot at the start of it, Iowa making five of their first five shots, right? Five for five. Yeah, at the start of the half, yeah. And you, you have only lost two points to that lead. It yeah. really is an every four minute kind of thing now, which we've often talked about. Yeah, just maintain. And again, it's it was it was tempting to fall in love with the fact that you might run away with this game right and go up twenty, just like just like the decaying game. It wasn't even fun to watch. Morehead State, you blew them out. Iowa State's a different beast. I mean, they. They're a two seed for a reason. I think they finished the season AP top five or six or something like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a pipe dream, I think, to think. This is not going to Even be if you would have hit your free throws, there was still a great chance Iowa State could have made it close. Um, so, yeah, yeah I we, we've I, been a little spoiled. You're yeah, right. No, so I, I, I think 
like you've been talking about, regressing to the mean a little bit. Like maybe you can start hitting some more threes, making some more shots, making some more free throws. They'll start missing, and then just hope that. Yeah, hope well, you hope you get dialed hopefully back. Hopefully, we. I would love to look back in the first four minutes and think you absorbed the run, mm -hmm. you absorbed it, mm -hmm. counterpunched, leveled out. Mm -hmm. That would be nice to think. The thing for me is, I wonder, like, I, the whole regressing towards the mean thing. I, how much of that do you think it's? Are we? maybe doing that or is Iowa State really forcing that on us right? I think I do think it's a mix right I yeah. think that some yeah. of the some of the shots they've sped us up a little bit offensively were some of our guys that would normally make looks are just missing them and and that is a credit to their defense I mean here's the thing the last time that we scored under 80 points was what the Purdue game yeah, and the last time before that that we scored eighty point under eighty points was I think the Maryland game. I think it was maybe Indiana. Indiana, Indiana. Think, yeah. right? But that was like seventy to so sixty-two you're talking or something. Three yeah. games in the twenty twenty-four calendar year, yeah. where we scored under eighty, we are probably not going to score eighty tonight. Yeah. No. So uh, that tells you the kind of defense that they have. The, the good thing is you have matched it with a pretty good defensive effort on your own. Now they're showing right now. Looks like North Carolina might tie it up here. Can't tell. So we have a North oh, Carolina wow. lead with a minute 32 to go. That's James Worthy. How about that? I have North Carolina in my bracket, so. I do, too. But yeah. if Illinois wins, I don't. Really no, like wait. Are they in, okay. They're in Arizona's bracket. No, yeah. I have Arizona. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> they just can't do it. Well, you know what's weird? I cannot believe this. They have not made Final Four since 2001. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. When they beat Illinois in the Elite Eight, the Foul Fest out in San Antonio, and they, they lost. Which was yeah. your next opportunity yeah. to get there? All right, Iowa State ball with 11:20 to go. Here's Lipsy on, with on, the D. mask on him. We have Quincy and a foul on, on Terrence. Terrence. No, not on Terrence. Yeah, where is he? A foul on Terrence Shannon. Wow, four on Terrence with 11:17 to go. Man, I mean, you gotta just like give him. Five feet. So he's he's got to come he's out. He's the only guy on either team, I think, that has He's got to come out until late minutes. So I think, Isaac, this is the stretch of the game right here. You got to get to the under eight. Man, I'd love to see lead. that, too. Like, what the heck happened? I know. God. I really do. I think that it's Marcus and Dane, two-man game. I think it's got to be Marcus. You've got to. Now you got one on tie. I don't understand. The way they're calling this game is completely. Well, Fouls are going to be big. and I mean, Terrence oh, has four. They've man. got a couple of guys that got three. A few more that have... They're not I showing mean, anything. Coleman, no, they didn't Coleman's show got three. Ty's got a couple now, I think. I mean, Terrence, that's, ne that's never been a problem for him all year. YouTube, let us know what you saw on that, if anything. Um, Dane will come out. Coleman will come back in. I, oh, it's got to be a Coleman, Coleman game, right? Iowa State's in the bonus, too. Yeah. That's a bummer. And you hate to take the best player in the tournament out of the game. <laughs> He's got to come back in with eight minutes to go, period. And you just got to ride, take I'm, your chances. Man, I'm trying to think if that's been a problem at all this year. Uh, you know, there's been a couple times yeah. in the Big Ten tournament where he'd pick up a second a little bit too early. Right, right. But it's never been to this level. Yeah, you got to. You're Damas to Coleman. Be there, hit Luke. It, hit it. Get, the Get it, Quincy. Nice. Quincy yeah. knocks it out of bounds. So I mean, official, I like the effort, but God dang The official it. Courtney Green getting called out in the YouTube thread here. Uh, not for good reasoning, obviously. Boba says he ran through the pick, and that's a foul, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. I mean, so that's got to be awareness on Terrence. Right. The, it was the third foul. The third one was bad. That was bad. Yeah. And then, you know, I, I don't know. It's just you got to have that awareness. And I'm sure they were baiting him. All right, Iowa State back on offense. Too easy. It's a four-point game, 51-47. to 47. I mean, Terrence is your best defender, too, I feel like. Uh, yeah, and the problem is he's hamstrung with four fouls. Yeah, so I even mean, when he comes back out there, he can't be too aggressive. No. Not to say that it, wouldn't, that it won't and it can't slip away quickly, but to be up right now, after all, like, it does not feel like we are leading this game. No. Not right now. You're right. The vibe has certainly changed. Here's I mean, Coleman. Oh, be there, Marcus. Hit it. Let's go. You've got to, yeah, right. That's something you got to make if you want to win this game. That's I mean, an open that's, three. For that's the not Iowa State being good at defense. That is just. No, that's a missed three, a missed open look. It's up and good. It's a two point game. And if you're Brown or Wood, you got to put Terrence back in. Going too easy. Going too easy. 
I was going mean, to say, you got to call yeah, a timeout. Call timeout. Terrence back in. You're, I think you're right, Mike. You can't mess around with it. No. You got to put him back in. Well, I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but it's it's frustrating to think that we are... We're 7 for 25 from 3. <sighs> and there have been open looks. Yeah. You just got to make them. That's it. I mean, you're both shooting 40% roughly. Mm -hmm. They're 5 for 11 from 3. You're Well, that means they're shooting 60% Yeah, this they're half. just far more efficient. Yeah, yeah this half they've barely missed. They are red hot from... Everywhere this half. And, and the problem is, though, they are starting to get easy looks. Oh, man. You know, it's weird. I feel like at this point, you had to figure one way or another it was going to be close like this. Yeah. It, it, again, it's that frustration, right? You feel like you have put yourself into this position. Right. right. Um, and, and in a lot of ways we have, right? I mean, you, you can't excuse missed free throws. Uh, you can't excuse a couple of stupid fouls. But... At the end of the day, it's still it's it's down. It's got. I ju I just can't believe this. This must have been. I'm trying to think back. Like Northwestern at home last year, right? That was another one where we <laughs> they were they dominated us, yeah. right? And then somehow it flipped, and it was like completely two different teams. Like that's how this first half. I know we were only up ten, but we looked a lot better. Just yeah, like we were just physically dominating the game, like with our with our length, and yeah, we were hitting more shots, but it wasn't. We weren't. Obviously on fire from deep necessarily. So no, no. Well, this is the crossroads. This is nine thirty to go. You have a two point lead instead of a two point deficit, so that's good news. I hate to like these these thoughts are starting to pop in my head, right? So, so you're still in the lead, and Sweet Sixteen was the goal, right? The second weekend was the goal. Well, so question: How much pressure do you feel right now? Oh, a ton. Like be, just because but, of the way yeah, that this right. would lose, like. Just because you should have been up 16 or 17 at halftime. Um, and I think, I don't know if it would necessarily be like, oh my gosh, so pissed at the team. It would just be like, sigh, just the way well, like and, it went uh, out. You know, especially what, if Terrence doesn't like barely plays the last 12 minutes. Well, and the weird thing that I'm not trying to, you know, put on the proverbial cup here and defend, you know, not get hurt, right? But you have UConn awaiting whoever wins this game. So right. Good luck. I think <laughs> I, I'm, right. not, I'm not saying that to try to soften the blow of no. what's been a really bad first 10 and a half minutes, but in a weird way, I mean, this is frustrating for sure. What I'm anxious in, in, in years past, especially if this were a round two game, I'd be pulling my hair out. You guys right. are blowing right, it. Right, what right, are you right. doing? But having made it here now, it's, I'm in this weird spot where I'm like, okay, well guys, let's see how you respond. And you know, when things are good and your team is playing at a high level, it's all about the counter punches that you can land after you absorb them. Iowa State right now has all the momentum. Yeah. And they're only down two. And you need to get buckets wow. and you need to start getting stops again. Keyshawn Gilbert, who is probably their best player. I mean, I know Lipsy gets a lot of the press, yeah. but Gilbert is the guy. He's got 13 this half. After this is the crossroads. The first half, yeah. Now, Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, and I kind of like this, is getting tick for Illinois. Ray oh man! Does that's, not shoot the three. It's just exactly I, what they trapped. wanted you to do. I know. Like you, they force you to throw it into the corner, and then you just stand there and yep. give them ten seconds to like to get back on the ball. You're All just right. so out of sorts right now. Holy cow! You need to get Dane the ball. I think it's an easy two. Get in the ball. All right, so it's Marcus with ten on the shot clock, getting a pick from Coleman. They force him about forty feet away from the basket. He's going to have to shoot something here. And it's a turnover. Oh, my gosh. And it's going to be a tie game Nothing. here. Oh, oh, he misses the layup. Unbelievable. Holy cow. Well, you, you try to find these moments, Isaac. I mentioned the first we half. We talked that, about the, yeah. the weird carom off the rim, the tie tap back in. They just missed a layup that would have tied it up. He was looking. I think he was, like, I don't know I think he was anticipating. Like, you just, you look You might so, be right. That threw him off. And you look so off right now. You do. So it's like, oh my god. The, the, like the Damask, we just have so so much this season relied on the Damask back down, dude. Like you just you you can't do that right now. Oh my god, get it, Dane. Dane, let's go. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Back it, back it, back. Oh! Get back, fifty-three, forty. Get it, go. DGL gets a hit on it. Okay, so Illinois back on defense. Easy. Matching easy, up. Easy. Oh, this is, is, that, is Gilbert number 10? Oh, Dane! Dane, behind the back! 
Dane. You gotta too just much. stop. Too much, Dane. No good? Yes! Yes! Yeah. Illinois ball. I'm sorry, I'm not good at play by play, I but you're watching it. That was the definition of a kickball, am I right? I don't know how I they didn't call that. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that way, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, they missed bear. two layups in a row, Isaac. Imagine if Dane just took that and. And the hammer well, down. Well, saucy man. I, I, you know, I like the confidence, but ugh. he did that in the first half too, where he tried to hit Terrence on a on a <sighs> fast break. And man, great! That was he's been. I feel like every big game the last two years, Dane somehow scores. Yeah, of course. Well, okay. he's 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 engaged yeah. in a very positive way, despite that play. So it is a four point Illinois lead. Wow! Every possession, massive. Here's Coleman, about thirty feet away from the basket, over to Marcus on the right side of the arc. Dane coming up for a pick. Kicks oh, it over hit to Luke. It, Luke. Luke. Hit it, Luke. Oh. No good. No good. Dang it, man. He's got it. Oh, Dane! Dane gets, the, Dane gets it. Dane gets it. Oh. God dang it. They were on a break now. Chill. A three. Chill. No good. Yes, 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 yes. Slow it down. Slow it down. 7.50 to go. It's a four-point Illinois lead. Man. Here's Marcus. Man, oh, man. This is getting, great this is getting down to it. I love it. It feels great. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. At least I you're admit. actually getting looks now. Here's Come Marcus. On, Marcus. Taking it in. He's going to do it. Be the king. That's ours. Out of bounds. Our ball. Timeout. Illinois man. somehow maintains a four-point lead after all of this with 7.37 to go. Man. Come on, this is fun. This isn't. It like, is a lot of fun. It's this, a lot this of fun. This isn't like a November game at home against Nebraska. You know, come on. This We're reminds playing. me. This reminds me a little bit of Michigan. I don't know why I'm just throwing these random games. Michigan State two years ago, Kofi did not play. Yeah, the Benjamin Boston yes. Verdon game. And Trent, Trent just. <laughs> Trent just somehow yeah. wills you to a win. You don't hit a field goal no. for the last like eight minutes. I know or you hold crazy. on. You hold on. Is it Terrence time, or do you try to... Man. It's your ball coming out of the break, right? Is it Illinois ball uh, Yeah, yeah, it was out yeah, them. Yeah, time. we're going to have... What? Is it going to be a reset, or are we going to have, like, half a shot clock left? Mm. I, well, think, I think they should have put in Terrence after that last break, but yeah. if, you can, if you can sustain here, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he keeps him on the bench. Well, here's the thing. DGL is out there for defense, clearly. Yeah. I mean, he didn't take that three, and... Uh, Ultimately, probably worked out okay. I'm I think glad, you scored yeah. in that possession. But I don't know. I, I mean, is it now become a game where let's just get more stops than they do? Yeah, I, I and don't just know. Hope to God that they're not hitting shots. And Terrence is hamstrung by those four fouls. But, 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 I feel like you can't mess with fate here. You got to put Terrence out. I think I, you can't, like, Terrence. And tell I, him, hey, Terrence. Okay. Whatever you do, it, even if you got to back away, that's fine. Get another shot on offense. So Io went out terribly, right? Like Io is my favorite line I have all time, and Terrence is competing with him right now. Um, but Io went out terribly, and that's always going to tarnish his legacy. I'm not about to watch like the one of the greatest line yeah, I, I ever say, go it's out not like as bad this. as Only going out on the bench. No, right? It, right. Yeah, like, you can't especially, go out on the bench, especially with four or five. I mean, right. and that's it's like. It's the survivor reference, right? It's yeah. like getting voted out with the immunity idol in your pocket. If he stays on the bench the rest of this game and doesn't pick up his fifth and they lose. Well, if I'm sure he'll like, put him in at, at least. I mean, he'll, yeah, at some point, but if you put so him in So 737, he's got to go in. So you're 7 for 26. I will say, I want to I echo this in the moment because we only have seven and a half minutes left of the game. But, you know, Kenton was talking about how fun this is. Yeah, this is a big time game. Yeah. And I know it's a messy game but it's a high level game yeah it is two teams that are legit two and three seeds and there's a reason that this spread was by far the closest on this entire yeah. docket of essentially games. a pick em. it was essentially a pick em. it was all week and we're, we're seeing that bear out right now so yes i'm not saying that to try to be like hey guys you yeah. tried hard even if you lose no i want to win can i be but this is a lot of fun so I'll how about like this the, gentleman the least satisfied Big Ten tournament winner, second weekend person would be like, it would be a little frustrating this season end, and you don't have that marquee win. I think because this team is so good and you know right. the potential. Right. So the fact that they could potentially go out without a top notch win, which I mean, hey, well, Wisconsin was playing great when we beat them. Iowa sure. was playing pretty well when we beat them. Um, but you're you're still looking for that that big so, time. Big so same Terrence lineup, guys. Same Terrence lineup. Still on yeah. the bench. By the way, Alabama just beat UNC. Wow. Wow, they blocked it. 
53 to 49. It's Iowa State ball with 7:30 to go. That's not Dane. Dane has no vertical. He's got to get. He's got to get spinning. Well, he's got to initiate the contact. I feel like because he was so yeah, deep. Yeah, he in does. There. He didn't fake or anything. Yeah. They're gonna get a cow. hold on DGL, which will send free throws. Let us know, YouTube. You with us? Does Terrence need to come back in? I think. Well, I. He's. I, so they're going to call a hold on him here as this guy broke through the screen. They haven't as showed DGL one the foul. They haven't replayed anything. No. All right, so this is a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. We'll see if we can get a break here. All right, Iowa State at the line, one and one. Miss this, miss this. First one is up. It's, yeah, nothing but that. Damn. So we're probably going to have a two-point game here. They're keeping Terrence on the bench. Nope, he's back. So DGL sets. I think Ty's coming in. Ty's coming in. Hmm. I don't know. Susan in the chat. I don't know what the hell positive. you do at this point, right? Like, <laughs> were you were waiting for six minutes? I, I guess <laughs> it's a two-point game. Oh my gosh! I still think you can play through Dane. I think Marcus and Dane and and Coleman maybe facilitating a point forward or whatever you want to call it as well. You've, what have you shot free throws this half? Dane missed one, I think, or made one. Uh, one? Dane made one. They have three. Yeah. Marcus gets the ball. Pressure here from Iowa State, really disrupting you. 53-51. Here's Coleman, top of the perimeter. We got eight seconds in the shot clock. He's going to get a pick from Dane and try to go. Up. No good. He get fouled? Yeah, he, he got did. Fouled. Was it a shooting foul? Yeah. It is a shooting foul. They've got to be in foul trouble. God. They got a lot of guys that had two. You think they only have four this half? They had a lot of guys. Wow, two yeah, and three that's only their time. fourth. Only their fourth, but two shots fortunately coming up for Coleman. So not a one and one opportunity. He's got twelve and six. Good game so far for Coleman, and we are waiting on when Terrence will come back in. Yeah, there's, there's someone, so much looks like DJ will come back in. No good. Misses the first. DGL coming back in for Ty. Why are we waiting for Terrence? I don't understand that. You're gonna, I think you're going to try to steal one more defensive possession. That's what. After this next defensive possession, you put Terrence back in. All right. Three guys. No good. He missed both. You're the best free throw shooting team in the Big Ten, by the way. And you're, you're – oh, my God. It's an 8-2 run for Iowa State with Terrence on the bench. Here's Lipsy. And this is Gilbert getting around the screen. It's up. It's no good. Illinois gets the board. Okay. Let's see if Terrence is waiting to get back in. Not yet. I don't quite understand this. Oh, man. 6.20 to go. Wow. Get a bucket, guys. Just sneak this out. It doesn't matter how. It really doesn't. Goody with the ball. 13 on the shot clock. Here's Coleman. Coleman taking it. Got it. Get it, Dane. Dane. With the ball, Don't. it's going to be... Nice. Oh, Get on Iowa the ground! Oh. Dive on that! Iowa State ball with a chance to tie or take the lead with 5.55 to go. Oh, man. Dane just should have dove on I that. I know, I know. Here's Lipsy. Good Dane deep. disrupts it. Heads up, Coleman. Heads up. All right, to Marcus. Marcus trying to take it in. And <laughs> Oh my Let's God! Let's go, Marcus, with the Let's and one go. and all and ones. Thank you, Marcus. Feels like we're playing Looney Tunes basketball here. What oh is going my on? God. Oh my God! Man, that's that Southern hospitality of Illinois. Huh? Thank you, Marcus. You steal one more defensive possession to get Terrence back in. in. You, you will. Just, yeah. You got to try to steal one more defensive you possession. Five I mean, oh ideally, you get to the under four. <sighs> 55 51 Illinois with 538 to go. I don't want to go look at the stats because they're ahead. It's going to tell. Well, they'll go to. Well, Terry's right. always. Terry only lets us know when good things happen. Those. Uh, so it's, it's. If you see Terry, you can. Um, well. When. Uh, was it just Coleman give a wink in the camera. The line a second ago, and I was looking mm. at stats to look up fouls, and I saw that yeah. the score hadn't changed. So you knew he had missed both of them. It's like. Terrence is going back in. Okay, Terrence is coming back good. in. Good, 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 good. All right, boys. Well, Illinois has a four-point lead. Five and a half to go. Uh, we're in the Sweet 16 with a chance to go to the Elite Eight. Okay, so how much was Terrence 
Big how, game. Much, how much Big were game. you? How much? How close was the game when Terrence went out? Uh, it was like a six, four or six, maybe eight. Six, maybe eight, maybe eight. I know there was an eight-two run, so that means they got it within six. It's down somehow, to two, but now it's back to four. So that means that that was an eight to four run. Yeah. We lost four points with him on the bench for four minutes. Unless Damask hits this, then unless Damask hits this, now <laughs> it'd be nice to hit a free throw. Of Lipsy only has three. Lipsy has three. Some dude named Ward has four. No one cares about that. But Terrence has four, so he'll have to be very. That guy Ward was in for like three minutes. In the I know. Yeah. Quick, Marcus. There Mason. we go, Marcus. Go. Steady handed Marcus. Wow, dude. who I think has played well Hold tonight. Yeah, lead. yeah. I mean, he had his his one or two turnovers. He always does, but he always makes up uh -oh. for it. I feel like. They All need right, to stop showing the free throw stat, so I can stop thinking <laughs> about it. Hey, it's it's reverse jinx. It's gonna mean we're starting making them. No. Here's he made it. Oh, Is that Gilbert? Yeah. Wow. You gotta get you gotta get across that pick. Is that Coleman on him too? I think he's got God, twenty-one. Oh, that's Jones. God dang, man. All right, you're somehow still up two. It's five ten to go. Coleman trying to back his guy down. Terrence is planting himself in the corner. Gotta move it. The three. Oh, hit it. Yeah! Yes! Let's go! Fifty-nine, fifty-four. Terrence gets the three. That one probably feels Ooh. so good for Terrence. Yes. 4.50 to go. Get a stop, guys. Get a stop. Come on, D. Every stop gets you closer. Coleman. Oh, oh. no, no. Oh. Oh. He went vertical. Oh. No foul. No foul. He went vertical. It's a two point bucket for Iowa State. I'm glad they didn't call some BS foul. Well, Coleman, Coleman was, did exactly what he had to Coleman do. Coleman was there. complaining there. That was his, would have been his fourth. Oh, well, good break there. Okay, He's 4.20 still. to go. 4.29 to go. Here's the mask. He's got some space here. Looking There's for Dane. Trap. Over to Luke. Oh, hit it, Luke. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Get back. 62 to 56. Illinois up six with 410 to go. Let's Come go. Come on, D. Come on, D. Get a D. stop. Get a stop. Let's do it. Time out for Iowa State. Luke Goody. Let's go. Woo. Oh, my God. Come on, D. Come on, D. Come on, D. This is fun. Throw a like for goody, goody gumdrop, man. This is fun, baby. <laughs> this is so fun. I mean, it's a big time game. Every college basketball fan is watching this right now. Yeah, that was awesome. Every college basketball fan is watching this right now. How's the garage feeling? I assume a lot. <laughs> Peanut gallery, yeah, in effect. Can. Most people probably <clears throat> most people probably just flipped on from the North Carolina game, too. Man, that was good. <sighs> I'm not, I mean, regardless, I'm not going to sleep very well tonight, but I would love to wake up with that punch. Yes, yes. Drunk, yes. slap happy. Oh, yeah, I only got three hours of sleep, but they won. That's what I want right now, and Illinois is in striking distance of that after a big three from Terrence and a big three Ooh. from uh, Luke Goody. Mike in the t episode named Cool Hand Luke. Well, if you that's know, the three point we still had, there is. Yeah, there's too much time. There is. <laughs> there's like four. Uh, away. Yeah, there is a century of time left in this game, and you know there's. The excitement's not over. But, you, but here's the question. There are storylines yet to this is why I'm. This is why the defense, which I think maybe has had some great moments, especially early in the second half. Yeah. I, I feel like they still got some stops in them. I feel like they do. In my bones, I feel like they got some stops, and I feel like we just got dudes who can yeah. make plays to help close this out. Now, are we going to get to the under four, or sorry, the you know two, minute, two minutes left, and the game is still in doubt? You bet. Oh yeah, I mean, this thing's going to be in doubt to the very end. But I feel like God. Just Plus the way they're hitting th the way they're hitting threes confidently. I mean, it's it's not. It's don't be let wire Jones wire. Yeah. or Gilbert get off a three. Right. No. Don't let them get off a three. If they get a two, fine. Yeah, just give it to them. Fine, but run them off the three point line, which this team has been pretty good at for much of the year. Are we in the bonus now? Yeah. No, I don't. No. Think I think they only have three fouls still. Yeah, maybe so. All right, well, uh, man, I know this is not the best play-by-play -play we've ever done on the second half pod, but we're just... Man, oh, man, oh, man. oh, come on. We're screaming. We're having a good time. We're, <laughs> yeah. I, we're, we're biting man. our nails off. So you got and, Terrence back, but, I mean, him having that fourth foul on defense just really changes a lot, I think, because yeah, the, when you game plan and everything, I'm sure you're expecting Terrence to, to scream through screens and all that stuff, and... Now he's he's gonna be a lot less likely probably to be guns a blazing. Um, so it's it's yeah. 
I we had a, we had a comment the, the shark fin, the shark fin getting comments and Mike's you can see the I know, anxiety. It's getting a little bit long, <laughs> but I'm not going to cut it <laughs> for obvious reasons until I have to. But yeah, it's getting a little good. Bit, good work, Blake. It's getting a little you, bit obnoxious. Work, I admit. You, you got it. You got him. You got him to run it through a couple of times. Man, that was. Such it, a was good it? Shot. Was there like a thing sticking no, up or what? You're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. All right. So it's 62 to 56. Nine Illinois with a six point lead. With uh, gosh, how much time is left here? 408, I think. Here we go. Terry says, "Keep screaming. They love it." Greg, yeah. we're with you. Stress level. Maybe an 11. Yeah, but, but, a but a fun level, stress. A fun level's at an 11 right, right now. Right. I'm Mike, this is the most blast. stressful fun I've had in a while. Like Mike, Mike Herrera, I'm it's, right there with you. It's We're not right as fun scoring you. not 80, 85 points, you know? It's, it is. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. it's a lot more stressful. Now, do we still have an under four media yeah, time Yeah, we will. Okay, so we have Coleman on Look Jones. Dane, come on, Whoa. baby. He's here to play. And Gilbert Good working recovery. through a screen. Luke switches on to him. careful, Terrence. You're grabbing him. Great Luke helps D. out. This is going to be Jones. Yeah. Coleman on him. Yes, Dane. Good D, baby. Good D, baby. Stop. It's a six-point lead. 340 Great to go. possession. Let's get a bucket. Let's Great get a bucket. possession. Come on, let's get a bucket. Let's get a bucket. Here's DeMass. Come on, Marcus, baby. 20 on the shot clock. Coleman working up to help Marcus. Down to Dane. Oh, Dane. Dane corrals it. Dane. Come on. And a foul on Iowa yes. State, and only that their six. That is a lucky break. Only their six, so he does not need to shoot free oh, throws, wait, we'll which take is okay. It. That is a lucky break, <laughs> man. Well, what? okay. Yeah, we kind of grabbed his arm, I guess, but. And I think they, oh, young Dane they Danger counted as media has some things looks to like, because we're still here. Oh, so yeah. you got to oh, love him. Illinois ball, 325 to go, him. 20 seconds after a mini reset on the shot clock. All right, we'll take that. Okay. Marcus feeds. That's great. Oh, no. Do Easy. I don't like, like, you, 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 can't, you can't have late possessions where Terrence Four and Marcus game. aren't, like, running things. You know, know what I'm saying? Like, I know. Why? You right. just can't do that. 308 to go. Marcus with the ball. two points. Oh, my God. Easy. This is so scary. Marcus Easy. trying to back him down. Dish it out to Terrence. Oh. Got it. He missed it. He missed a point blank bank shot. Missed it. Missed it. No good. Oh my God. Holy we get a break. Cow. Iowa State just blew a layup again. 2.45 to go. Illinois ball, four point lead. Okay, we'll take chill. <laughs> there, are no, chill. there are no more media timeouts. There are no more media timeouts. This is Dude. it. 2.35 to go. Iowa State is making hard for anyone to get open here. Here's Coleman. 10 seconds to go. Motion. We're just gonna wasting time. Finds Terrence. Motion. Terrence. There you go. Oh, Dane! Yeah! 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 Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Two fifteen to go. Oh, Illinois with the ball. Oh, sorry, defense. Six point lead. Yes, you did. Two man game for Iowa State. That's a foul. A foul. No make though. They will go to the line to shoot two. <laughs> oh my God! Wow, what a the garage man. wants nuggets. What just a hell of a time one. to win just some miss nuggets. One. Miss one. What a feed to Dane, and what a finish. Dane Danger winning hearts on the national stage. Yes, he man. is. Oh. All right, this is a big man for Iowa State. He's fifty percent on the season. Two shots coming up. It's a good guy to foul. Miss. Oh, he makes the first. Yeah, Kiss my looked, ass. He looked ice cold right there. <laughs> he made that pretty well. All right, get up. There's so much yeah. I want to say right now, but I feel so superstitious. <laughs> nah, well, hey, whatever you... Uh, listen, superstition is varies by person. He's got to miss this. Second free throw is up. up. It's good. It's a four-point game. All right. This 50%, is it, guys. 50% free throw shooter. Yeah, yeah. And we've... Yeah, I, I mean, know. I know. I know. 64 to 60, Illinois lead with 209 to go. We see some press here, or at least showing press from Iowa State. Here's Damask. The trap. You got timeouts if you need it. Broke it. Nice. Broke it. Broke the you press. broke it. Coleman does a good job navigating wow, good through job. that. Good job. 20 seconds on the shot clock. We got two minutes left in the game. Illinois up four. Here's Damask. Man, yeah. It feels like we don't clock. get anything started until like 11 seconds. I know. Seconds. I know. All right. This is a Terrence possession. Terrence and Dane. Two-man game. Oh. Coleman. <laughs> Be there, Marcus. Uh, good read up! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. 
No, oh, they called the Luke's goal? going to the free throw line, I think. Oh. They did those follow-up what? What? Okay. They called the foul. They called Luke it, will go they called to the it on line. Luke, who, on and he's shot. not shot many free throws this no, year. No, and he hasn't. I mean, that is a foul. It is a foul. And yeah, it's a shame that you can't just say, nah, we decline. We decline. Yeah, decline it. All right, Luke. I hope. I, well, Mike suggested the title. So if we see these free throws, perhaps. <sighs> Luke with two to go. Luke, two shots here. Oh. I mean, but he's, only, he's 61%, but he's okay. literally like yeah, he's five for like nine. Seven, yeah. It's like, uh, if that. If their guy Four is for 50% seven. and he can make both. Look at the basket. There you go. All right, Luke will get two shots with 137 to go. Both teams in the bonus, no one in the double bonus. Brad's still got two timeouts. Let's go, baby. Luke makes the first. Luke makes the first. Make or not, I mean... Do you just do you just let this run out? You just, I mean, minute thirty seven left. No ties, no lead changes. He makes both. You've led this game <laughs> for eighteen or for thirty eight and a half minutes. A stop might do it. A stop might do it. One thirty seven to go. Just one stop might help you get way. some free throws Let's and get the stop. All right, here's Iowa State with one thirty five to go. Here's Lipsy. They're trying to get through a pick. Oh my! They God. call a foul on Luke. Oh, what? Their asses ran into each other. Yeah, what the heck? I don't know what he's supposed to do. Now, this will send Iowa State to the line with a one and one. So maybe the bas basketball gods will help us here with the What's ball. What's he supposed to do? He didn't foul anybody. That's absolutely atrocious. So hopefully, ball don't lie. Another big end going to the line. Oh, of course, this guy's 80% from the free you throw line. You can't tell me he's actually 80% from the free throw I mean, line. he might be four for five. <laughs> he hasn't shot one <laughs> yeah. tonight. You're right, right. But Pressure no. cooker. First come free on. throw of the night for this guy. Come on, ball don't lie. Noonan. Get on. That's, an, that's a terrible – am I wrong? Is that not the worst? It, look, you cannot make that call with a minute and a half to go. I, no, I you can't. So. Five point lead. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 All fans are feeling it right now. It's 66 61, 132 to go. Iowa State makes both. All right. Let's quality <laughs> possession here. Of course, oh, he makes God. both. Quality possession here. Well, listen, I'd rather be up four than down four right now, but it is all about another good possession and finishing with points. I like this lineup. Dane's still out there, I believe. They just used their last. Oh, no. They're doing. Li they're in the double bonus the rest of the game, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. I just don't understand that foul call. Oh, listen, I, there were really not many calls before that that bothered me. No. The Terrence like trying to steal a thing that bothered yeah. me. That uh, one's the, really the, one, the charge on the charge on Coleman in the first half was awful. All right, chill out, chill out, chill out. Here we go, Marcus with the ball, one twenty-three to go, twenty seconds in the shot clock. Marcus with the ball by midcourt. Terrence coming up to help. We have one fifteen to go. Terrence with the ball, trying to drive in. Yes, he got fouled. He gets fouled. He will go the line to shoot two. Oh, my God. Oh, man. It is, guys, After all of this, you can still redeem yourself with the free throw line. It is line. so nice to be back here right now. It is so nice to be back here right now. Man, I'll, oh, that was such a bad shot, too. That was an awful shot. So you have now, in your Sweet 16 game against... A better team than you. I don't, I don't want to say that, but mm -hmm. you've led this game for 39 minutes. Yep. First one is good. 67, Just 62. Find a way. Just find a way. Come on. Okay, so we got a substitution. Dane is coming out for, I guess, defensive purposes, but also for free throw shooting weight, which I understand with one time yeah, to go. Yeah, right. Hey, if you make your free throws when they matter, I don't care if you miss 25 in the first half. 100%. So Terrence missed Terrence, this the one. second one is no good. It's a 5.0 Illinois lead with 110 to oh my go. Gosh, you Gotta can't. Their 50% free throw shooter makes two, and Terrence <laughs> makes one. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's not something we talk about at the end of the game. Here is Jones it, off the pick. That was a lot of steps. Wow. All right, he makes it. It's a three point game with 58.4 to go. Here's Damask. Help him out if you need it. Coleman is hanging back if he needs help. Illinois just needs to make a bucket to help seal this game. 45 seconds to go. They have two timeouts. Iowa State has one. Brad's calling a timeout. Yeah, Brad wants the timeout. <laughs> Ken, if you get a, if you get, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, you're maybe gonna have to stop looking yeah, at that. Yeah, we'll watch it. We'll watch and react. You too. We'll any be help. back. We'll be back with you. And We're still here. We're just. Uh, oh man. 
I think you still need to have Terrence attack and try to draw a foul here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ter- and another thing you can do is get Dane back in for this possession. Yeah. Which I know you're like, well, wait, you had to make free throws. But if you feel like you can get a two-man game going and get Dane an easy look, do it. Oh, my God. Well, listen, I mean, what is it? 11 25? Yeah, 20, not bad. <laughs> Could be worse. I mean, I'm not going to sleep for a couple hours. Easy. It's a three point Illinois lead. We're on Vegas time, baby. <sighs> How do you feel if you're Iowa State right now? Uh, you're just in get a stop and, and give it to Jones. You've or, been trailing or, the entire game, but, but you know, the whole second. The second half has second been half yours. Been it's, been, it's been yours, I think, if you're right. Iowa State, right? So, so our perspective is we didn't extend the lead enough. Their perspective is, dang, Cowboy if we wouldn't have gotten done ta- 10 at half. They're a couple of really stupid misses away from being ahead, too. Terrence possession. Go, Terrence. Oh. Don't. Okay. All right. A block on Iowa. And as now, I really can't, been, now I really can't look at my phone. Don't look. Holy cow. It's a one and one. One and that one. Was so close. I mean, it was. Oh, that's a foul. No, yeah, that's a yeah, clear yeah. foul on Iowa State. This is a one and one for Terrence with 39.7 seconds to go. Now, he is two for six tonight, but he's 81% on the season. Iowa State making a substitution here. There's. This is it. <laughs> that shot of Terrence, he, only, he almost oh, looks man. tired, but he was on the bench for so long. Here's Terrence. Oh, every, every bit of the rim. That one tried every to leave. Every bit of the rim. That one tried. We've waited It's a four-point so Illinois lead with 39.7 to go. Come on, Terrence. Come on, We've Terrence. We've waited so long. Please. Please. Terrence, the second free throw is up. It's no good. It's only a four-point Illinois lead. They, if they get a stop, though, they're in fantastic shape. Here's Lipsy. Iowa State has one timeout left. Okay, I would say Paul. They're gonna look at it. Oh! Let's go! Oh my! How we feeling? That is one of the greatest Illini highlights you will ever see. Oh, man. Holy cow. That is one of the greatest Illini highlights you will ever see. And if we get a break here and it's our ball, that is one of the greatest plays in Illinois basketball history right there, dude. Let's see the replay. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. They're showing the replay. Oh, that's off, Lou. That's off, dude. Off 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 to mask. Yeah. We don't want it. We We don't want the ball. That's fine. We went ooh, ooh. Oh. The arm. It was close. Arm. It was close. Oh, hold on. Okay, so they're looking at the replay here. Uh, guys, that was there are iconic oh, there are iconic moments, and that was an iconic moment. <laughs> Illinois has 15 seconds to go to close this thing out. Oh, he hit it. That's off him. Man, that's close. It Blowing out my speakers and I don't even care. ILO Ima. Glad that uh, <laughs> you're willing to sacrifice your because we are not going to get quieter. I will get a compressor by the time we do the next. Yeah. There you go. Is it off Iowa State, you think, Kyle? Man, I feel Look, like right that is off end, him. At the end, his wrist. Oh, yes, it might be. That's the only way you go that way. We might get a break, guys. We might get a break. Yeah. I'm telling you, he hit it that way. His hand was not going. He hit it that way. Guys, it's off Iowa State. That's off Iowa State. Yes. The garage Twitter. says it's off Iowa State. What do you say, YouTube? What do you, what say? do you say, YouTube? We may or may not be biased, Come on. but it's theirs, I think. Yeah. Illinois about to benefit from the Illinois rule. Ah, dead gum it. Dad gum McGillicuddy. Now, here's the good news, though, Isaac, is that... I think they added time, too. So there's 16.4 to go, and it's a six-point Illinois lead. It's a double bonus for yeah, them as well. Right. I think that's absolutely crucial because even yeah. if Iowa State makes a three, yes. they will have to foul you, and you will get two free throws, not just one. Shoot it! All right, here's shoot a three. It, nope. Shoot it, shoot it. Nope. Shoot it, shoot it. Yes. 
Oh. Wow. Why were they oh, going for... Dane could deep, baby. Dane got vertical. It's 12.2 to go. They went... No, no foul. They went for two with 16.4 wow, to go. Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah, oh how did... I, I didn't see Dane touch that, but Dane wasn't mad, so... All right, guys. 70 to 64, 12.2 seconds to go. Here we go. Listen to that. Boy, we... Listen to the crowd. Listen to uh, that's so awesome. TD Garden oh, is. I that is so I awesome. I. Come on, baby. 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 You're right there. You're right there. You've let you've yeah, let all game. Look, turn around. Turn One pass here's Lipsy. Oh, that's. That's fine. All right, nine point nine to go. Dane fouls him. Now. I mean, that was like almost. I mean, worst case scenario is he makes it. He would have made it, but not ideal. <laughs> you had two guys go after it. Damn. Well, here's the thing. At least when Dane's weight came down on, there was no way he was making that, as you yeah, said. Yeah, true. I mean, Curtis Jones He's will have to miss. Shots. Makes hey, one. Uh, well, that's already. Okay, so two shots coming up for Jones. We need he them makes to the miss first. one, dude. Miss one, miss one. God dang. It's all right. You're 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 okay. Nine point nine to go. Right. Illinois has one timeout in case they can't inbound it. If Curtis Jones makes, I mean, this. just let him shoot that. I know, I know. It's up. It's good. It's a three point game with nine point nine to go. Here's the pressure. There is one timeout left for Illinois. Terrence gets it. That's not the guy he wants. Go run, 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 run. They foul him with six seconds to go. All he has to do, guys, is make one. Hit one, sister. Make one. Hit one. All he has to do is make one, and then you get out of the way. <laughs> Getting out of the uh, two way shots. is a, yeah, two a shots. Key, key part to A key that. component to this. <laughs> uh, we seem to have lost audio. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, can you guys hear us on YouTube? <laughs> YouTube, you hear us? Yeah, they can hear us. Let's go. Uh, Blake's saying, yeah, we're still clipping. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! Woo! <laughs> okay, we're good. It's coming. There we go. Okay, we're good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. It's Make a four this point one. Illinois lead with hey, six in the seconds meantime, go. Terrence made a free throw. <laughs> Make it impossible to lose. Knock on wood. Six seconds to go. Ooh, I taste the cigar. Oh, my God. He makes it. Yes! I taste the cigar. 1942! Let's go. Wow. YouTube, you ready to celebrate yet? Ooh, man. Saturday. All right. Well, I got just <laughs> one pull. One pull left. Yes. You're going to yes. be gone Saturday? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be gone Saturday in Michigan. All right. Guys, uh, Illinois is six seconds away from making the Elite Eight. Man. Ooh, yeah. Blake, Opus X kind of night. That is a fine stick. Enjoy <sighs> it, my friend. Going, you you oh, my there are certain moments, Isaac, listen, you know, it's been a long suffering Illini fan base. Yeah. And I was senior in high school the last time I made Elite Eight and then a national title game. I don't know what's going to happen against the UConn. All I know is that this season is. <laughs> is a massive success. Oh, my gosh. On every freaking front. And the amazing thing is we're talking a month ago. Was yeah. Not all that far removed from the Penn State loss. Um, a little over a month ago, yeah. And if that, listen, if that's what it – I remember saying after that game and then they beat Iowa, I remember thinking, okay, if the, if the Penn State collapse with what it took yeah. to galvanize them or whatever, fine. I'll take it. Even that meant costing them the Big Ten title. Kenton, they got the Big Ten tournament title. They're on the verge of getting to the Elite Eight. I'll take that over a Big Ten regular season title. At, oh, my I, I just gosh. Watched. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. They, 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 look, they figured something out that you ex didn't expect. They, they had all season to do it, and they didn't. And, yeah. I, I mean, when was the last time that Illinois found another gear in March? When it mattered, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the last time we were here, we were number one all freaking year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It wasn't a, a crazy thing that had happened. Oh, two pointer doesn't matter. Illinois is going to the elite eight. For Victory! The first it is over. Let's go! 
Illinois. Let's go! 72. <laughs> Iowa State, 69. That Basil Hayden tasted really good right there. Brad Underwood has not only slain the March Madness Dragon, he has went far f further than what I w ever would have anticipated from this team. They beat a stingy Iowa State team that gave you everything in the second half. We get to do this. And now there is Don Julio. The Don Julio, 1942. <laughs> YouTube, I hope you are drinking uh, something nice. Uh, Illinois in the Elite Woo. Eight. It's, we've come a long way, that's for sure. We started doing these pods, I think, 2020. It's been a blast, man. Man. And it's not over. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, this was kind of house money. Saturday is truly house money. Like, Well, because, listen, UConn is a once in a 10 year kind of team. They're the best team left. For but sure. you know what? You win a game like this, you get past this weird, funky, yeah. stingy defense that just can take teams completely out of their yeah. game. You won a game scoring only 72 points. Yeah. Which is not your MO, which shows that you have a little bit of malleability. No. And that the defense can't be pretty good. And you still have, you're still going to have the best player on the floor, even though yes. you're playing the best team in the tournament. You won that game oh, here with we Terrence go, Brad. Shane Jr. foul trouble. Yes. Here we go, Brad. Brad's talking right now. Um, Brad almost looks overwhelmed. This man. is the eighth Elite Eight in what school history. Battle. Insane. What a battle. And uh, biggest, biggest battle of Underwood's career so far, right, at Illinois? Guys, I I am off the charts happy right now. Yeah. Like I'm now. Is this a fair question? Or is this too heavy to ask right now? Go for it. UConn watched this entire game. How do they? How do they? Second half. How do they feel? How is UConn feeling right now? If I'm now UConn, I feel like I'm beating anybody. But but I don't think yeah. But you know, house money, which is the term that you use, yeah. Isaac. What the hell? I mean, I kind of like going in a game like this. See that. I like going to a place where it truly is house money for us fans. Yep. And I think for the players, it's what the hell. Let's make history. Yeah, let's prove them wrong. This is, listen, this is by no means U.S. hockey versus Russia in 1980. But I guarantee the spread will probably be about four and a half, five and a half. Yep. Right? Four and a half, five and a half, and it will be fair, if not even a point more, because UConn is just that balanced. Yeah. Now, my, I would say a bigger, the biggest concern I have, besides UConn being the best team in the tournament, is that... They blew the brakes off of San Diego State, and you just had a really far, hard fought battle. Mm -hmm. um, you played, you played forty minutes. They played like twenty five. Yeah. So that that that's the other concern. But again, you got Terrence Shannon, and if you can get to Mass playing great, I love what happens. Chances. Yeah, might Let's as see well. What happens. Well, my as well. thought is this: if you played UConn ten times, you'd win two, maybe yeah. three. Yeah, that's Agreed. the kind of team they are. And I, I'm not, I'm not trying to blow smoke. I mean, just. Watching them today and, and just looking at the fact they haven't lost or won an NCAA tournament game in the last two years by less than like 13 points. Yeah. Yeah. This is a stretch of dominance we haven't seen in a long time. So with that in mind, no, I don't expect to win Saturday. But guess what? I get to wake up Saturday with a chance oh. to go to the Final Four. Yes. I get to wake up Saturday with we a get, chance to go to the Final Four. We got almost we 48 all did, hours we all of, just, of just jubilation. Oh, and if Ugh. you beat UConn, and I, I forget who said this in the thread, Kenton, if you beat UConn, yes, you might be the favorite to win the national title at that point. Oh, at that point, yeah. It I think if, if, anybody if, who slays if, if that Purdue, dragon. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If, if Purdue's left, that would be interesting. That would be interesting to see who, who has the favorite. If but. not according you know, to Vegas, at least according to college basketball fans, right. they'll think, yeah, man, yeah, if yeah, they yeah. slayed that yeah. dragon, then that's the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember uh, back in the, turn the Big Ten tournament weekend, I kept saying – I want another shot at Purdue after that game. Yeah, the day third center. time's a charm. Now, I, I, you know, national title game is where we would meet them, right? Right. And no matter what your competition, there's going to be crazy. But that would be nuts. I, uh, I wouldn't mind another shot at him for the national title. No, absolutely not. Absolutely but then not. again, if you lose to Purdue for the national title, that that would burn. This is when this is when the the tough. Being like the toughest region probably comes comes back to bite you because we obviously got to break the 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 Kane game we did. and then we did. Iowa State was the lowest ranked three or two seed somehow even though they were great but you get I don't the know you how, get yeah, yeah I don't know, I how, don't know how you get the number one overall seed in the tournament which <laughs> ideally you'd like one of the other one seeds but hey again just toss the ball out there you got Terrence Shannon guys we five oh nine on Saturday five oh nine yep. 
I think this is the happiest I've been Illinois sports wise since the first Big Ten tournament title. No, 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 no. Since the regular season title, for sure. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as as fun as that was. Yeah. And listen, I think banners are important. You don't hang, hang a banner for an elite eight. No. But I, I do think that there's something about this. Now, not only have you broken through that albatross yeah. or gotten rid of the albatross, <laughs> you went one round past it. Yep. And now you have this opportunity on Saturday, which I think reasonable. Reasonably speaking, it will not be something that, as I mentioned, we would expect. But, I mean, I watched this game tonight, Isaac, where I didn't have a whole lot of pressure as far as, oh, God, what if we lose? Yeah. I, I contemplated what it would feel like if we lost, and I knew it would be a bummer, but I wouldn't be angry. Right. Even with the way the second half unfolded. Yep. But that's even more so when we get to Saturday yeah. against freaking UConn, where it's like, you know what? If we lose, that's okay. Yeah. We're losing to the national champion. Right. That will probably be national champion again. But if you win, you are talking the biggest win, I think. And listen, there's Arizona. There's the comeback. Okay. That was not an upset. That was a game you should have won by maybe more than that. But you had a really bad second half until the last four. This would be right up there with the most consequential Illinois victories in program history. And you get a banner. And then you're remembered like a f uh, – handful of years ago, people remember that Wisconsin team that beat that Kentucky team, right? Kentucky was undefeated, the favorite to win the national title. Wisconsin beat them, and everybody remembers that Wisconsin team that sort of broke the wall down for everybody else, and they ended up losing in the national title to Duke, I think. But um, that's like – like Illinois beating UConn would be – most likely what people re remember about this tournament. 100%. Like, that's what people game. would remember. Yeah. It would be the game, perhaps even more than a Final Four championship yeah, game right. would be, depending on the matchup. So you had this opportunity, <laughs> Kenton, on Saturday where, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to relish the fact we had this opportunity. Let's just see what happens. I mean, I, honestly, I went into this game thinking the same thing, right? If, if you get Illinois' best effort and Iowa State's best effort, I think you beat them five, maybe six times out of ten, right? So I think that's kind of what happened tonight. Again, you, you, when you play a team like that, you feel like you're beating yourself, but that's kind of what they do. Right. Right. I do think that, save for a couple free throws, a couple dumb things here and there, we, we didn't play much worse than we have been playing on no, this run. I would agree with that. Now we're going to have to almost find another gear yet if we're going to beat a UConn, but... Let's just let's just see what happens, man. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's it's an it's an unconditional pride at this point that can only get hundred percent stronger. Hundred percent. I mean, we get all day tomorrow and half the day Saturday to just sit and enjoy this. And Saturday, let's see what happens. Now, here's what In we're gonna some do. Some ways Saturday. that doesn't sound like fun. No, I, I get it. I get it. But uh, here's the thing: on Saturday, I will be in Michigan. I wish I could be in the garage, of course. But listen, as far as superstitions go. The team does not give a crap where I podcast from. So we will be in Michigan. Yeah. And uh, I will have a spot to myself. It'll just be me reacting to the game. And we'll see. Again, it's not a flip a coin. It's uh, two times out of ten. It's a three times out of ten if you're really good. But sometimes in March, there are teams of destiny, whatever you want to chalk that up to. And... Isaac, I will still wake up with a little sliver of that. Why not us? Yeah. On Saturday morning. I mean, just give us, I'd be fine with 20, 25 minutes of a competitive game on Saturday. You know, I mean, nobody wants to get blown out, but again, it would still you be get blown out. such an amazing season. Right. I mean, you, you have the, the offensive firepower you have, it would be very shocking. Uh, but I think my, yeah, my favorite part is this whole week has just been so awesome thinking about this game, knowing you're one of the final 16 teams left. Yeah. And now you get that for 48 more hours, essentially. 48. My whole thing about March and why I missed it for 19 years was that you extend the time that you get to think about yes. your season and yeah. your team. And we get to do that all the way to the regional final. Yeah. Illinois is maybe Elite Eight. They will face number one overall seed UConn on Saturday. Is, is it five ten Central? Okay. So six ten Eastern. Yeah. Uh, early Easter dinner is gonna. I'm gonna have a yeah. dip on out of there get and get my there. spot, and uh, I will do that. And the good news is, if they win, uh, which could happen, biggest game. Then we're just so gonna hang out and celebrate the rest of the evening. So per Bobo, UConn opens at minus seven and a half. Seven and a half. 
That's that's a lot. I mean, that's probably the closest spread they've had in a while. <laughs> I mean, by far compared in NCAA tournament games. Yeah. So I get it. I get it. It's still a lot for an Elite Eight game. All right. I mean, they they deserve it. They deserve that kind of respect. Ken Toner, thanks for being on third mic. Hey, Isaac, man, thanks for having me. Man, that was one of the best. I mean, I'm trying Moments to think of, of my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need sugar. Yeah, but it. that's on. that's one of the best <laughs> podcasts. One of the most fun moments I've been a part of. So I'm trying. You know, I'm. I'm it, this will be process, processed tonight because i'm not going to sleep for a couple hours <laughs> let's be real yeah it'll be processed all day tomorrow as i wear my kofi jersey there you go up to michigan and get my wife's family to be like hey that was a heck of a game yeah right day. you know like they're rooting for us too because you know they're they're just sweet people and on saturday i'm gonna be i honestly i'm not gonna wake up nervous i'm gonna be totally chill and then at 6 10 i'm gonna say guys i'll see you in a couple hours We'll see what happens. Peace and quiet. Yeah. And if they do, if they do, and that's the beauty of sports, if they do, it can happen. Can't promise it will, but that's why you play the game. Oh, man. So to the 42 people on YouTube right now, a lot of comments after the game. Everybody obviously excited, and we love you. I think this, this might be the one that sums it up the best. From Evan Webb, Elite Eight. Don't know any of you personally, but love you all, ILL. I love all of you. I love all of you on YouTube. I love all the Twitter people, including the ones that give me a bunch of crap, and I deserve it sometimes. This is for a long-suffering fan base for what is a really good basketball program that deserves to be in positions like this. It's hard to explain to people that haven't lived Illinois basketball why we live and die by it when they haven't really treated us all the time. But they're a pretty damn good program, and now they're starting to live up to that potential. I want to end this by repeating something that I, I wrote about earlier this week. Brad Underwood, this is his masterpiece. Great articles, by the way. Mike. Thank you. I love writing again, and I'll get one tomorrow on the road to Michigan. I'll be writing an article and get it up there by lunch or something. But hey, Terrence did send out the three more tweet. Oh, okay, three more. Man. Lock emoji. Uh, That's a great tweet. Brad Underwood, thank you for making us relevant again. Thank you for, despite my reservations after last year, not only winning all these games, but kind of resetting the culture in a very positive way that – Regardless of what happens Saturday, if you're an Illini fan, you feel really good about the yeah. short and long-term future of this program. And I, I'm not going to make any prognostications about being back in this spot next year or the year after or five years from now. We don't know. But I think that our chances are much better with him at the helm than most other people. I mean, I, I was obviously not old enough to do the Lou Henson stuff, but like, how many, how many runs like this, how many banners? I mean, that could be a summer podcast, obviously, but like, how far off would he be before he's in that conversation? Brad? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> Lou Henson is an all-timer. Yeah. There's a reason the court's named after him. If Brad Underwood makes the final four in his seventh year, and by the way, Lou Henson made the final four in what I think would have been his seventh year or eighth year in 83-84, okay. and he won a Big Ten regular season title. Brad Underwood has a Big Ten regular season title, two tournament titles. He has an Elite Eight appearance. So basically, he is matched, if not already surpassed, what Lou Henson did in his first seven, eight years. Yeah. I, I do think there's a higher ceiling, potentially, Brad Underwood. And I think in the NIL era, I yes. prefer him to even a Calipari. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I prefer him to a Calipari because he's navigating it well. And it just makes me very hopeful going forward. And this right now, sitting in this moment on a late Thursday night and knowing my team is going to the Elite Eight is just... Uh, it's well, and again, you know, it, it, it's, it still feels so new to us, right, to be up at this tier at this level. But right now, when, when you talk about Underwood, I, it, it's hard to imagine anything other than Underwood for the next yeah. decade of Illini yep. basketball. 100%. And anything other than we're not talking about, you know, the benchmark is making the tournament. We're now talking about <laughs> – there you go, Mike – we're talking about the tiniest bit, but any bit of Basil Hayden is very good. <laughs> we're talking about second weekends. We're talking about Final Fours. Uh, you're so excited here, but at the same time, you're not thinking, "Oh, this is a you know flash in the pan, right?" Right. He's setting this up to happen again, and even next year, you know, we got a lot of guys that are leaving. But at this time last year, who was Marcus Damask? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And he's figured it out, and I don't think that. He's going to have any problem continuing to do that for at, at, at least the next few years. So, yeah, it's, it's, 
It's, it's a great, great place feeling. to be in. It's a great place to be. I mean, I barely remember the 2005. I mean, I have... How I have old vague, were you? I was seven. Man. So I have some memories. Oh, you can yeah. get that over, Steve. <laughs> You're good. Seven? I was, yeah. So it's been a while, to say the least. Well, should we sign off? I'll write, a, I'll write a column tomorrow. Do you got anything else before you sign out here, Ken? Not really. Everybody's feeling good? I, Enjoying I mean, your cigars and your uh, yeah. late night life. Call in yeah. sick tomorrow. Everybody, call yeah, calling sick. sick or going, you know, Getting slightly hungover. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Illinois is going the Elite Eight. So the title that I wrote my column uh, that I published this morning was from Sweet to Elite. And I might just name this that. I would have done the Cool Hand Luke if he would have. He had a great, great game. I mean, he, he made an impact for you. This was a team effort and a very gritty win that uh, could have went the other way. And it didn't. Every time that it got close, Iowa State never even tied it in the second half. Because you always responded. Counter punches yeah, and what was a knockdown drag out fight. Zero ties, zero lead changes. Yes. You, you led the, you led the whole game. game against a team that has not lost. Oh boy, when was the last loss that Iowa State had? And by the way, I was looking for things. Okay, we had 72 points. 72 69. Okay. I was looking at their Ken Palm today. I don't know the last time they gave up 70. Every final score that they had in the last month was like. Iowa State 69, opponent 54. They won by 15, 10, 15 points every game, and they kept the opposing team in the mid-50s. I knew that we would get ours. I thought we'd get more than 72. But the fact that you match that with only 69 points on defense, fantastic. Yeah, we said uh, you score 80, you beat them. It turns out it only took 90% of that. Yeah, We got it done. All right, so uh, people are starting to check out here. I'm going to be up for the next couple hours, but I am going to sign out so I can get this up loaded and and thank you youtube for for tuning in thank you dp doe state farm agent brian hansen owen builders llc dogtown heating and plumbing thank you to the peanut gallery that was just so awesome to hang out with us tonight and enjoy this historical line moment by the way hey, the go. terrence shannon let's jr go. dunk we'll be yeah to cap that game is an all-timer that broke some speakers that you remember remember the luther head layup in the final four mm. game the elite eight game sorry when you were in overtime oh, i yeah. that this is one of those moments yes <laughs> All right, we're signing off. We'll see you Saturday. It is the 200 level. Adios. <laughs> YouTube, we love you. We did it. One more to go, baby. I don't care anymore. It's been so fun. We'll be in touch. We'll see you. We'll see you. All right. We'll see you. Nobody wants this. Uh, we got one more tequila here. Oh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with whiskey because I'm afraid I'll take it. Yeah, it's nice to you. It's the best you ever had. Oh, here's Chase Steve.